Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog today not a sure way to Barrow Notch moved back into the National League playoff places in midweek with a 2-1 win away at Fylde however today's game is going to be tough Barrow obviously are top of the league they are the highest scorers they have the best home record so like I say every game we've got to be on it we've got to win our individual battles and hopefully that way we can come out with something from today's game come on Knox, come on you pies let's do this it's very tight in the national league playoff battle only eight points separate third and 13th which is quite incredible halifax are third barnet are 13th i think barnet are 13th there's halifax there's yeovil there's bournewood there's us solihull hartlepool woking bromley there's probably more teams i've missed out at dover There is an absolute hatful of teams in this playoff battle and it is sure to be an exciting final 10 or 11 games. We've been to KFC, we had the new 80 popcorn chicken thing, the 80 popcorn chicken bucket. We're probably next to Chorley, we're near Chorley in Preston of some sort. Yeah, this is like the fifth time we've been to a northern away game all season team news and it's very interesting because we're playing 3-5-2 Lacey is back in the starting 11 so is Damien McCrory Wilson and Thomas are up top Doyle O'Brien and Crawford are the midfield three Brindley Brindley and Baggan are the two wing backs minutes and it's still 0-0. John Rooney has just missed the penalty for Barrow. He hit the post. It was a penalty as well. McCrory just got his arm down, stopped quickly and dragged him down. It was a clear penalty but he's missed it. It's still 0-0. Barrow have had more of the possession. Yeah, the wind, the wind is affecting the passing a bit for both teams. This, yeah, it, we, there's the occasional gust of wind which just takes the ball like 60 miles out the ground. <laughs> but yeah, still 0 0. Doing better than we were in the previous game where we were 2 0 down at this point. <laughs> Almost half time, still 0 0. We've not really had, a, I don't even think we've had a proper good chance. Wes Thomas had a, I think it was Wes Thomas who had a shot and it was easily saved by their keeper. And that's about that's about it. That's that's pretty much what lots of lots have done so far. We've just had a free kick that's come to nothing. And the Russian team is going to show us in the key to the minimum of two minutes. Barrow nil, not nil. Barrow have had more of the possession, they've had more of the chances, but they've not used it. Barrow will have the wind with them second half. Lots have been playing with the wind throughout the first half. And we've defended, we've defended stubborn. We've done, we've done well. Baggan and Brindley have pressured well. Let's see what the second half brings. Got Watson! 
Okay, no one said. said. Just don't make you understand. Go on, it's up. I think Scott Quigley's been sent off. I, I think he has been sent off. He went diving in on, on Joe McDonnell and he's been sent off. What a good tackle. Good tackle. What and Roberts are on for Thomas and Wilson. performance, Crawford and Baggin were excellent, Rawlinson Lacey, excellent as well, Brindley played well and Carl Roberts gets his first goal for Knotts, just a brilliant day overall. Barrow nil, Knotts 2, a brilliant away day, a fantastic team performance, there seems a good team spirit, a good togetherness within the group at the minute and Neil Ardley as well got it tactically spot on and him, the staff, and the players deserve a lot of credit for today's victory. Ardley set us up in a 3-5-2 formation to kind of counter Barrow's three at the back formation. And it was basically then down to the individual battles on the pitch. And whilst Barrow did have a lot more of the ball in the first half and early in the second half, 
they I don't feel like they carved us apart like they did in spells at Meadow Lane. I didn't feel like they tore us apart. As the game went on, they became more it felt like they became more frustrated. We were making it hard for them, which is which was good by not. As Lacey and Rawlinson did well at centre half. And then Scott Quigley was sent off. John Rooney had also missed a penalty in the first half. But yeah, Scott Quigley was sent off for a tackle on Joe McDonald, a late tackle, and there Knotts went forward a bit more. And from a corner, Tom Crawford headed in, great scenes, and then five minutes later, Callum Roberts, who came on as a sub, went past two Barrow players and finished from a tight angle into the bottom corner. We didn't really see much of the ball in the first half. It was mainly Barrow who looked more like scoring and they had that penalty early on which John Rooney hit the post from. D.R. Angus put a strike wide. I think Rooney hit the post again with a free kick from the edge of the area. But Knotts coped well. We defended stubbornly and we went in at half time at 0-0 which was important because we had the wind against us in the first half. Second half they had more of the possession, more of the ball but we stood firm. Quigley got sent off, it was a poor tackle, and then, and what, what was important was, not surrounded the referee. Knots on a few occasions were too nice, we don't get in the referee's face when a bad tackle is made, but on that occasion, we went up to the referee. We learned our lesson from the Meadow Lane fixture, where Barrow, Barrow got the, they were clever, and they got the free kicks, when they needed to, they, they drew knots into fouls at Meadow Lane. In this game, it was the opposite. We drew them into fouls when Quigley made his tackle. Knots were immediately on it. We were at the referee telling him, he's got to go. He's got to be sent off. He was sent off. And from then on, Knots drew Barrow into fouls. We won three kicks. We were clinical. We took our chances. Barrow didn't. Tom Crawford with an exceptional performance, his passing was good, he won the second ball, he got himself a goal and he's had to work really hard to get into the first team and now he's been rewarded for his hard work and his patience. Joel began as well, he had a really good game, forcing Barrow back to goal, every time they received the ball on the wing he was constantly putting pressure on, a truly brilliant away day, 2-0, 3 points, a clean sheet. And some great scenes as well when we scored. We've had some great away days this season. And this, this is one of the best. If you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed if you're always subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Send in your questions as well for the next vlog. Be safe, be champions. And as always, Toulouse. <laughs>